Hey, Cafe of Knowledge. How everybody doing? Let's talk about the people stinking up the joint down there in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Oh, yeah. You know NJ already have to talk about this. But um, this story happened in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And please, everybody, please hit the like and subscribe, please. That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for anything else. Just give a sister some support. Give our channel some support. And please click the subscribe button, okay? Uh, it's free. Don't charge. They don't charge you anything. Hit the like button as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, too, for all our new subscribers, all our old subscribers. Thank y'all so much for your support. Thank y'all. It is so greatly appreciated. Uh, okay, so let me start with this Fort Lauderdale, Florida. You had, um, there's a white man from New York City. Who took a trip or a vacation, whatever he was doing, he took a little trip down there to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, okay? And he was staying at the Best Western down there. So, um, he goes down here and take his vacation, and then he went stinking up the joint down there, okay? Just stinking up the joint. And the police officer, in my opinion, was stinking up the joint as well. But first, let me say this. Before we get into that story, I'm going to show y'all the video of this situation. And, of course, I'm going to pause it because I, I want y'all to see a certain little thing that they said in here. But anyway, uh, I want to say this before I go into that video and get into what happened down here in uh, Florida. You know, you got people from the north. Please listen. People from the north. I'm from the north. Everybody know I'm from New York City. That's where this white man here was from, too, who went down there to Fort Lauderdale, stinking up them folks' city down there. But anyway, people, please listen. People in New Jersey, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, uh, Kansas, Missouri, and all that, when y'all go down there to the south to visit, or you going to move down there at the south, please don't go down to the south acting like you're better than those southern people, okay? Now, that's a that's a big problem that's going on here, that thinking that they better than the people in the south, okay? Now, stop going to these people uh state in the south, want to enjoy their beaches, want to enjoy their vents, want to enjoy their boat vacations, and you want to do all this down there in their city, but then you treat them like you're better than them, okay? And, 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 that's, and that's wrong right there. I can't understand how you go and be at a lovely beach. Now, you made the decision. I'm talking to the people up north now, and I don't want y'all to get offended because it's not all of you, it's some of them. But they'll go down, they plan a vacation, and the first thing that people want to do is go where our climate down here in the south and the Gulf Coast, because I'm on the Gulf Coast. They want to come down to the real nice climate where it's still warm weather when it's cold up north, they want to come down here, they want to enjoy the atmosphere, they want to enjoy the lovely beach, they want to enjoy all the perks that come with it, but then they want to treat those people in that state, who live in that state, who resides in that state, they want to come and visit and treat those people like they better than them or treat them like shit. So now we got to talk about this right here, people, because the only way we can change this behavior is to talk about it. It's been a problem for a long time, and it's time for everybody to wake up and stop that. Don't be going to nobody else's city acting like you better than they city. What in the hell did you go down there for anyway, evidently? Evidently, that's just like if you go to somewhere and, and have a good time, how are you going to decide to Go that, go to that place, but then you think you better than everybody at that place. See, that's some delusional type thing going on right there, okay? You got to think about something like that. If I sit back and I choose to go visit a certain state in a certain area, but then I feel like I'm better than everybody in that state in that area, ain't no sense of me booking that flight or putting gas 
in that car to go down there with them people. I need to find somewhere where the people or like me, since I think I'm better than them folks down there. I don't care what they got. I don't care if they got beaches, clubs, uh, party strips. I don't care what they got. If I feel like I'm better than them, I'm not going to that town. And so that's what people got to get that in their head. So that's what a lot of people have this little arrogance about themselves and think that they are better than people. They're just like if you hanging with a group of people, and if you think you better than everybody in your group you don't need to hang with those people in that group because eventually you're going to start belittling people in that group or talking to them like they less than in that group than you see then that group is not going to like you anyway so if you think you better than a group that group you hanging with you need to go find a group that's in your lane not this group. And that's the same way it goes when it comes with visiting a state. It's the same way. It's the same way, y'all. It's the same way. So I'm just telling the northern people that stop going down there to the south, stinking up the joint, and treating the people like they're less than you. Because I'm going to tell you right now, everybody is the same everybody got this thing where they think oh i ain't going to the south because they country oh i'm not going to the south because they this i'm not ah you know that but you come down there and visit and i'm gonna tell you right now it's no difference between the south and the north the east the west or whatever it's no different in the people in those states on those coasts it's no different everybody they just have their own way of a touch of slang talk you know um some people have it's just a notch tad difference in the talk some are kind of proper some are kind of southern some have a slang some it's just different languages but it's still in the english language but they just have their different way of talking and saying words but believe me north and the south is no different from each other. Just they, we everybody in the South, they have a Chick-fil-A too, like the North. The North, y'all have a McDonald's. The South have a McDonald's too. The North, you have big banks. The South has big banks. The North, they have skating rinks. The South have skating rinks. Up North, you got parks and all this. The South have parks and all that. It's no different. Everybody have the same old thing. They have cell phones up north. They got cell phones down south. That's it. Everything that a person have up north, down south, the southern people have it as well. West Coast people have it as well. So you can't go nowhere and act like you're better than nobody. Why are you acting like you're better than somebody? Is it because the title of your state or... The name of your state, you know, people, we got to come out of that. Just because your state is named New York City, that's where I'm from, that don't mean that because I could say I'm from New York City, I go somewhere else down in the South and feel like I'm better than everybody in the South who their state name might be Florida or Alabama or Louisiana or Texas or Mississippi. Now, you cannot act like you know it all. Are we smarter than the southern people? Uh, no. Uh, no. Let me tell you right now. Because there's a lot of people up north that waits until they always say, when I retire, I'm going to move down south and buy a nice house down south and all that. Why? Why? Because of the nice atmosphere. Because of the beaches because of the people, because of the respectable people, and because it's a laid-back type of atmosphere. So if you can like it then, you can always like it when you come visit. I'm so tired of that right there. Uh, northern people, they go to the South and act like the Southern people are less than. Because I'm going to tell y'all right now, when I moved from New York City to the South, and I moved on the Gulf Coast. 
I never did act like I was better than the people in the South. Because, hey, I'm here. I'm, in, I'm on the Gulf Coast. Why in the hell am I going to act like I'm better than the people that I just moved to and transferred to? You know, it's not where you're from. It's where you at. So I just wanted to talk to people about that because I, I'm just so, I'm so tired of that because I feel like this. If you feel like this, that about the South, keep your disrespectful ass out from the South. That's how I feel. Keep your rude ass and your prejudiced ass and all that. Keep your ass up north. Now, don't come down stinking up the joint down in the south and on the Gulf Coast and all that stuff like that. If you if you don't like us, don't come down to the south for no Mardi Gras, for no um, big events, for no beaches and all that. Uh-uh. Stay where you at if you don't know how to act. Or if you think you are better than the people in the south or in the southern areas. You know? I, it, it just it just don't make no sense to me. I'm sorry. But anyway, y'all, let's get to this. It's this black man who was a clerk at the Best Western. And you had the white man from New York City was being very rude, out of control, calling the man all kind of racial slurs and all this stuff. Now, he done bought his ass way from New York City and come down there to Fort Lauderdale, Florida to act a fool with the black guy behind the desk at the Best Western, okay? Now, he drunk, the white man, he drunk, and he acting a fool and think things supposed to go his way. And if things don't go his way, he got the right to call you all kind of, of racial slurs and everything like that, okay? So then he goes, the black guy, he called the police one time, he on him. He called the police the first time on the man. They told the police, the police told that man, the, the drunk white man, to leave the premises, okay? So then when all that was over with, that, that man came back. Bothering this black man clerk again, okay? Now, this time, he called himself going to charge behind the counter at this man. He done went behind the workstation to try to do some harm to this black man. And the black man jumped up and defended himself. That's what he did. So, let's look at this and see what happened. Because I said, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I said, now you just not going to tell me that this man done came way down here in Florida to enjoy these folks' beach. And then he turns around and acts a plump fool like this. It really don't make no sense. It really don't make no sense. It really don't. So check this out, family, right here. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about this family. Okay, family, now before I finish that, y'all hear them say that it's the black guy who called the police to help him in this situation because of this outrageous, you know, he was just acting a fool, basically, in this, this white man was inside this uh, hotel. So check this out. Okay, so that man come behind, he goes behind that workstation to jump on this man. And you see that black man was just sitting in the chair. And this is the uh, body cam right here.
reservation. Surveillance video shows police escorting Rabe out of the hotel. The incident reports saying he was cited for trespassing before getting a courtesy ride to a friend's house, according to the report. Now, yeah, I hear that sound. That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. So, y'all yeah, do hear that um, the police said that when they got to the scene that the best western clerk went, was pushing the police and as you see on the surveillance camera and now that they done released the body cam it does not show at all that this black man hit that police at all. So basically the police lied to me. And that's what everybody is saying. They said you said. That this man here. Assaulted you. And he didn't. So the police told that story. That. Oh yeah. He assaulted me. The reason why I had to apprehend him. And arrest him. And all that was a lot family because when they released the body cam and this happened in january family but they're just now releasing the body cam footage and i was trying to figure out why didn't best western release their footage and then i said maybe they didn't even have a surveillance camera in there i don't know because it took everybody to have to wait for the body cam best western Never did that I know of. It could be wrong now. Allegedly, I haven't seen any um, footage from Best Western. So it got me kind of side eye in that little situation right there. Because I'm trying to figure out, did they not have a surveillance camera at that hotel? Or did they have surveillance camera and it didn't work? Or did they have it? And they just wouldn't release it. And they was holding on to it and didn't want to release it. What what was it? Because I haven't heard anything from them either. But what I can say is the body cam just came out a couple of weeks ago. And that's why this story is trending so hard. Because it just came out. I'm so tired of hearing y'all. But anyway, it just came out. And now we know what went on. And that police put on his report that that black man was pushing him when he came to the scene. And that is why he had to uh, arrest the black guy and put him in jail. And we saw from that body cam that that officer was telling a lie. And then I seen old police whitefish, uh, female, and, and let me tell you all um, people and white people and black people, whoever. Or uh, when I say white fish, black fish, it don't matter who it is. If I feel you wrong and you black, a uh, black woman and a black fish, I'm going to say black fish. And if it's a white woman, I'm going to say white fish. I'm just sorry. That's my way of getting into your ass for doing something like this. So nasty and rude. And I mean, just totally disrespectful and unjust. you know? So anyway, why that other police was telling lies, talking about this black man here put his hands on him and was pushing him and all that, which the uh, camera say it, that didn't happen. Now the police, they say, allegedly, that he want to come out and say he came out and said it, but it's some type of word flow that he said, oh, he did do it. It just wasn't on camera. Uh-uh. We ain't believing none of that boo-boo. We ain't believe that you, you need to keep your ass in the camera. I don't know what you were doing. Talking about, he did hit me. It just wasn't on camera. Well, honey, what ain't on camera is invalid. We don't want to hear none of it. And we, we want to, only thing that really matters. And the only thing we judging is what's on the camera. Because it clearly shows that you lies anyway. So we can't believe nothing you say. See, that's why you ain't supposed to start off with a damn lie. Because then after that, ain't nobody going to want to believe you. So if he did hit you, I don't believe it. Because I didn't see it. And you lie anyway. And that's all I got to say. And then you seen the female fish cop. She comes over there and help her lying ass friend who is a cop. See, people, we got to clean all this up. 
we got to clean all this up. We got to get rid of these type of police because that don't make no sense at all. You know what I'm saying? Now, this man here, this black man was at work trying to make a decent living for him and his family. And then here come this outright uh, drunk ass white man. And now he wants to make a scene. He wants to act a fool. That don't make no sense. People, you have to push for legal action. You really do. You have to push for legal action in your city and your state and make sure that these type of police that have this kind of unjust thing going on, uh-uh, they needs to go. They need to, they really need to go. Now, the people down there in Fort Lauderdale who live down there, y'all need to get together and get these type of police out of y'all uh, police department. That go for everybody. Every community around the world who has this problem need to get together in a legal way and push to get some of these type of prejudiced cops off these police force. It don't make no sense. It really don't. And then he gonna charge this white drunk black man. He gonna, I mean, sorry, this drunk white man, he gonna charge the black man as if the black man not supposed to defend himself. And then when he get his ass kicked, now all of a sudden he want to play the victim. And I can't understand that. I'm trying to figure out how do the black man call the police. Then this white man charge and try to fight him. Now the black man done put him down to the ground. And then when the police get there, they arrest the black man who called him. And then gave the white man a courtesy ride to his friend house and they wrote him just a ticket on trespassing but he got a chance to continue to enjoy his night but the black guy who was working hard and had called the police two times about this man they came the first time asked the man to leave the premises then they come back again because the man didn't leave the premises. Then he come back and want to charge and be violent towards somebody. But that innocent man went to jail because of the cop lie. Come on now. I'm going to tell you right now, people. Mental illness lie. A prejudice mental illness lie. I'm telling you, mental illness lie is what that police told. That's what he told. And, and I'm saying that the black man, he going to say that the black man, this police said that the black man hit him and the black man uh, was pushing on him or something. That's why he had to arrest him. Bull crap. Bull crap. You see how easy it is for some cops to lie on a black man and a black woman. You see how easy. See, that's why I say these types got to be weeded out. And we... It had been trying to calm down a little bit for its police brutality. We haven't seen it all on the news like that. Now, I know it's still happening, but it's not making the news where we could see it and then we could speak out and then we could try to uh, bring awareness to the story. So we really haven't been seeing a lot of it hitting major news where we can see it, you know? And so... I just, that's why I said, you know, it's slowing down just a little bit or whatever. But a lot of it is because a lot of these police know that their ass is going to jail now for all this uh, police brutality. Unnecessary police brutality that they putting down. Okay, now you got some good cops now, don't get me wrong. You got some very good ones. But you got some very bad ones too. And they got to be weeded out of this police force. This don't make no sense. That white police officer told a bold-ass, flat-ass lie on this black man. He kept saying on his police report, it's documented down that this man was pushed, that that black man pushed him and, and was hitting him or whatever, and that's why he had to arrest him, which was a flat-ass lie because that damn uh, body cam footage show otherwise. It damn sure do. It show otherwise, and I, some type of camera show otherwise. So y'all seen it right there. So he just told a bold faced lie. Now they call it, I call it, okay, prejudice lie. It's a prejudice lie. It's a mental illness. Anybody that go, I say, you know, you are gonna have some prejudiced people. That's cool and fine. You know what I'm saying? You are gonna have some prejudiced people. Now you are gonna have some prejudiced people. But I prefer that if you prejudice, just sit your ass back. Stay away from the people that you don't like. The people that you prejudice against, 
just stay out their way and they stay out your way. And then you sit your ass down and that's it. But when you got the ones who prejudice, whether you black or white, I don't care. But when you got the ones that's prejudiced and then they start provoking violence and they start provoking abuse and they start telling lies because they're prejudiced. They telling lies on the people that they are prejudiced against. That's when it becomes a mental illness. Because who does that? Who does that? You know, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Who does that? You know, it's just a mental illness. They take it to a whole nother level. It's okay to be prejudiced and sit your ass down and don't mess with nobody. And you just go on about your day. You stay away from them type of folks and them folks stay away from you. And you just go your day. But when they go to a whole nother level and you walk in the elevator with them and now they want to call the police and say, Oh, she hit me or he hit me. Now they know they lying. See, when you go to that extent, that's when it becomes a mental illness. Or you do some bodily harm as a police officer to someone that's black and they didn't do nothing to you, but you doing police brutality because you don't like the color of their skin. That's a mental illness. Now, people, we need to call it what it is. Everybody keep talking about, you know, you know, the you know the police brutality. But then when we see what type of police brutality it is, it is that aggressive, nasty, racial police brutality. That's a mental illness. So we need to start saying the mental police brutality, abuse, you know, or police brutality, mental abuse. Because they are. They got a mental illness. That, that really is. Y'all call it what y'all want to call it, but that's basically what it is. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, this police officer walked right in that hotel and automatically seen trouble in skin. Trouble in skin. What I mean by trouble in skin means that as soon as you look at that person, it's troubling to you. And that's what that police did. And that's what a lot of police officers around the United States do. They, they they work for and look at trouble in skin. And that's a black person. They don't like that. A dog shaded person is a troubling person to them. So they ride around looking for someone with trouble in skin to them. So they can harass them. Abuse them. Lock them up. Treat them bad. All that stuff. See, they got to be weeded out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because automatically when that police officer went in there, he automatically felt that the white man was right. See, that's that prejudice oath. And, and I'm going to tell you, police supposed to be out here to protect and serve. This police here and that white fish police officer, their oath is to protect and serve. And you know what they did for their oath? They oath is really an oath to being prejudiced. Because that's exactly what they did. See, they done took an oath to be prejudiced somewhere. And then they came into the police department. That's what a lot of them do. Then they come into the police department and take a protect and serve oath. But really, their main oath is the prejudice oath. Because it comes out and we see it. And that's when they ass need to go. And see, I'm going to tell you right now, Fort Lauderdale ain't said nothing. They ain't said a word about this incident. They ain't said nothing. You had news people going to try to see him. I, uh, ben Crump is involved in it now. And he put that video on uh, his social media. And the news people got it. But everybody is trying to ask Fort Lauderdale what is going on. What happened? What about this, this lie that this police told that this man put his hands, this black man put his hands on him, and he didn't. And he didn't. And Fort Lauderdale police have been quiet. The only thing they say is, we are aware of the matter, 
and we'll be investigating allegedly. I think those are the words that they said, you know. But still, ain't no captain came out and talked to nobody. Ain't no sergeant came out and talked to nobody. Ain't no substitute captain came out and talked to nobody. Ain't no substitute uh, sergeant came out and talked to nobody. Nothing. It's been about 20 days. And ain't nobody in that police department came out to say a word. Not they just sending out little uh, tweets and messages we are investigating or whatever. But they're not coming out full front. And saying that they investigating the matter. And see, NJ have uh, had a business meeting in Fort Lauderdale for, I think it's in July or something. And uh, I told my crew, uh-uh, cancel that. Until somebody come out and acknowledge this matter. And tell us what is going to be done about this matter. And if they don't have the decency to do that, cancel my meeting and move it in another part of Florida. And I think they moved it to uh, West Palm Beach or something. So we'll be doing West Palm Beach. But uh, I damn sure ain't spending my hard-earned money in no Fort Lauderdale where I was supposed to be having the meeting at. But uh, -uh. Now, that's just ENJ. I ain't telling nobody else to do it. I ain't telling nobody not to go. I'm just saying that's how ENJ roll. Uh-uh. You ain't because I feel like this. If I do go to that city, then that means you mean to tell me if something happens to me or your police officers do something to me, y'all ain't y'all police department ain't gonna say nothing about the matter. Y'all y'all gonna act like it didn't happen. Y'all y'all gonna act like y'all can't answer to no my family or nobody. Y'all gonna act like the damn thing didn't exist. Y'all just gonna send out a tweet and say yeah uh huh we aware of the matter. Uh we all investigate. How I know y'all will I ain't seen nobody saying nothing. Who wrote the damn tweet? Who wrote the damn message? Who wrote the damn email? I ain't seen a captain yet. Yeah, they could use the captain email, but that don't mean that the captain wrote it. We need to see somebody's face. So you mean to tell me y'all gonna wait about fifteen or twenty days and y'all still ain't saying nothing if something had happened to me? So see you done already pre showed me that uh y'all don't give a damn about shit that goes on with black people in your police department in that damn uh, little city. So ain't no way in the hell uh, I'm going to go to that city. So that's why I told my uh, my crew, uh-uh, cancel that shit and book me somewhere else outside that city. Because, uh-uh, that's one thing NJ ain't going to do. You ain't got to do nothing to show me one time how you roll. And then I take it from now uh, on my part. That's all I'm trying to say. So people, you got to be aware of things like this. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to say I ain't going to never go to Fort Lauderdale, but I'm not going until this captain, some type of sergeant or something. You know, just like I said, all of us can't fight this kind of injustice from where we are. But we damn sure can do it in a way like this. And that is what I'm doing. Uh-uh. My money ain't going now until your ass say something. And I want to hear what you got to say. And I might not like what you got to say. I, it, it, it depends. I'm just saying. But family, you got to wake up and think about stuff like this. Because you got to think about if it happened to one black brother. It'll happen to a black sister and all that. And you have to watch how they handle the matter. Because 15, 20 days is too long for a captain or something to put on that goddamn suit and that captain hat. And walk out there in the parking lot with them news people, and at least address something. And all that stuff speak word. Silence speak a hell of a lot of words. That's all I got to say about that one right there. But anyway, this prejudice disorder that a lot of these people got going on don't make no damn sense. You know, they automatically see violence, abuse, uh, uh, discomfort, all that when they're looking at a black man or they're looking at a black sister and all that. And I can't, I'm telling you, I'm so tired of people saying the police protect and serve, but then the uh, they oath really is a prejudice oath. So which one is? Because you damn sure can't protect and serve and be prejudiced all at the same time. You can't be prejudiced against blacks and you can't be prejudiced against white. If your job is to protect and serve, it's nowhere in the hell you can do that with prejudice brewing inside your system and your body. Hell to the now.
hell to the now. That's why I said, I be damn if I'm going down there. Y'all got this super flea police going to sit up there and tell that damn lie. Oh, dirty flea. Going to talk about he hit me. No, that man didn't. That man didn't hit you. And that white man done went up there and then trying to charge that man behind the uh, counter. But I'm going to tell you, that black man, I'm going to tell you, that white man had an alligator mouth, didn't he, y'all? He had an alligator mouth behind that counter. And I guess because the black dude was just sitting there and wasn't saying too much, uh-huh, he thought, that white man thought he was scared of him. He came around there with that alligator mouth and got put on that floor and started licking up dust all off that floor. Uh-uh, see that? That's why you need to keep your mouth closed. I don't know why drunk people act like they bad when they get drunk. Drunk, y'all know y'all ass can't fight when you slap your ass drunk like that and get your ass toe up. Now, all of a sudden, you want to play like you the victim and shit. Uh-uh. Hell no. Nah. Black men, I'm so tired of this with people, with the black men. Police brutality. I'm tired of it. You know? And just like I always say, I'm tired of when black women being disrespected and dogged out in public. It's the same way I'm tired of the black brothers and the black sisters being treated so bad by the police, prejudiced police. And it takes the people in the city, in their own city where this is happening at, to do something about it. You know, you just can't sit back and lay back. You know, you just can't sit back and lay back. It's no justification for doing wrong. Now, this, that's what prejudiced people do. They love to give some type of justification for doing wrong. And they that's that lie justification. He going to sit up there and say, like that man put his hand on. No, he didn't. And then this old white drunk man coming in now, just stinking up the joint. Just stinking up the I don't know why drunk Billy Bob went up there talking all that damn shit. And he talking about, uh, I had a lack of service, y'all. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, that's what Billy Bob said, drunk-ass Billy Bob. He going to uh, tell the police and them that, oh, he wasn't giving me good service. And I, I wouldn't have gave your ass good service either. You come in there drunk and, and throwing racial slurs up at me. You lucky he was, they were just telling you to leave and all that. I wouldn't even went through that. I wouldn't. I was, as soon as he came in there throwing that, you you supposed to be staying at this hotel. Soon as you'd have started calling me all kind of racist slurs, I'd have deactivated your damn car real quick to your room. You wouldn't have got shit up out your room. You wouldn't have got your shoes out, your clothes out, or nothing. You'd have been hitting that key thing, and it just beep, 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 turning red and shit, no green lights. And you come back down there asking me what happened. I'm going to be like, I uh-uh, you called me that racial slur. You cannot stay here. Now, as soon as you get loud, I ain't finna fuss with you. See, can't do it because see this Fort Lauderdale got a history of being racist. Now they said that this Fort Lauderdale Police Department right here uh had a problem with being racist to white people when they had a black sergeant. Now the black sergeant is gone, and I guess they got a white sergeant now. Now they got a, a problem with being prejudiced against black people. I don't know what the hell going on this here police department allegedly but we needs to find out and everybody but i tell you right now i ain't booking nothing down now until i see somebody come out and make some type of statement and i gotta see i'm a side out of that statement too because i want to see why it took so long for your ass to come out is the police is suspended with pay or what's going on where is old police fish at? Did y'all suspend her too? Because she clearly jumped in something that she knew was wrong. Because you could look at her when she walked in with the other damn police with his cottage cheese smelling ass. She, he walked, she walked right on in there with him. And they both knew that that man didn't do nothing to them. That black man didn't do nothing to them. Damn sure didn't. And she knew it too. But she still stuck on the side of wrong. Still stuck on the side of wrong. She could have at least just let that man, that, let that police apprehend him because you know he was wrong. So I want to know what happened to white police fish too. I damn sure do. Where her goddamn man said. That's what I want to And y'all, when I say got damn, G-O-T, okay? Because I'm sure tired of people saying that I say G-O-D. But anyway, where her fish ass at? That's what I want to know. Yeah, uh-huh, and she in trouble too. She ain't no money coming out in J-Pocket 
for that Fort Lauderdale uh, meeting. That's why I told them, y'all move that shit and book something else. And they did. They booked it down there at the West Palm Beach. Because I bet, damn, they won't get nine red penny out of NJ down there at Fort Lauderdale. That's all I had to say about that. Now, this is what I want to say. Why did it take from January to now to release the police footage of this unjust arrest of this here black man? That's what I want to know. Just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. But I wanted to bring some awareness to this story, y'all. I really did. But ain't no way in the hell this man here, if it had been me, once I deactivated his card and he come down there talking all that mess and calling me all kind of racial slur, I would have just been putting stuff in my purse and stuff. And I'd been like, okay, so you know what? I'll be right back. I'd have went my ass home. He wouldn't have never got up in that damn place. And I'd have called the manager or whoever run that joint and told him, hey, you better go get your little uh, stove or your little hotel or your little desk. Honey, because I'm gone. Well, how come you gone? What's wrong, honey? Y'all got an old crazy-ass white man up there talking mess and acting a fool. You can look on your surveillance camera if you got one. If you ain't got one, I don't I don't like working here anyway because, hell, I'm motherfuckers cheap. You can get a surveillance camera anywhere. Why y'all ain't got that? Anyway, I'm gone. Well, why you, uh-uh-uh. Now, when you get your ass down there and handle that man, then I come back. Other than that, I ain't got to take nobody calling me all kind of N-words and B-words and all that. Uh-uh. I ain't got to take it, baby. Honey, I'm gone. Honey, that's mm -mm. I'm so glad I got my own brand and do my own thing. And I'm the one that's the boss of mine. There ain't no way in the hell I'm going to sit down there and listen to all them old curse words and stuff. And I'm still sitting there. And by him being a man... You know, I'm going to just leave and exit the building and get in my car. And I don't know who he'll be fussing with, but a damn sure wouldn't be in jail. That's all I got to say about that, y'all. But I don't know why his raggedy ass went came from all the way from New York, staking up the joint down here in the South. That's what I'm talking about right there, family. That's exactly what I'm talking about right there. You know, I can't stand just straight ass salvage. Now, you mean tell me the police can write a ticket to this man? For trespassing, but not arrest him for trespassing. But then they can arrest a black man for just simply calling the police. Oh, you know that damn police department needs to be cleaned and dumped and washed out and cleansed away and put some new damn cops in there. Some new real cops who, re who really will follow, protect, and serve without being damn prejudiced. That's all I got. That don't make no damn sense. Now, this cop running around prejudiced as hell with all that prejudiced ass energy and shit. But I can tell you one thing, that black man, when that white man went around that corner, that black man was peeling his ass like an orange, wasn't he? He was peeling his ass like a riding that white man like a bull around now. Uh-huh. Your ass won't run around there another corner talking about whipping nobody's ass, would you? Because you got your ass toe up down now. Who did he not tear up that white man ass? I don't know what to say, honey. Y'all better stop running around these counters and stuff thinking y'all bad and y'all drunk. I can't stand for drunk folks. Y'all know that, family. Every time it seems like somebody gets sloppy ass drunk around you, they act like they bad. And people around be saying, hey, man, sit your ass down. Or, hey, woman, sit your ass down now. Go on in there and go to sleep. Sit your ass down. Now you're getting out of control. Oh, they get worse then because they think they bad. But then as soon as you jump up and hit not hell out of them, they fall to the ground. All of a sudden, they're damn victim. Y'all know y'all can't fight when you're drunk. And some of you can't fight when you ain't drunk. So I'm telling you right now. Keep your ass, keep your mouth closed. You can't be running down now. I told y'all these southern people strong as hell. Now that damn white man done came way from New York. I told y'all these southern people are strong as hell. Y'all better stop coming down here messing with these uh these southern people. I'm telling you, they're gonna put something on. You see, up north, see they cook the Jiffy cornbread. You know, cause that's what my mama cooked when uh, I lived in New York. You know, I was born and raised in New York and everything. That's what New Yorkers and some of the northern people eat is different cornbread. But I'm trying to tell y'all right now, these southern people, uh-uh, they cook with that hardcore meal. And they make their cornbread like that. And when they get through uh, that cornbread cooking the oven, that cornbread be sitting up like that. 
be that thick when you cut it. I'm telling you right now, a different cornbread, that's that flat little host, wholesome cake. Uh-uh. No, honey. See, you cut a different cornbread about that damn thin. I'm telling y'all right now, down here in the South, they eat that cornbread that rise up to the top of the damn oven damn near. And you cut it in that damn thing thick as hell. They eat good down there in the South, honey. They throw down down here in the South, honey. They eating on them collard green homemade cornbread. Talking about some different mix. Uh-uh. They ain't doing it like that. They use hardcore cornmeal down here for their cornbread. Y'all better quit coming down here messing with these Southern folks before they drag your ass down here in one of these goddamn seas down here. Yeah? You're going to come up missing that in one of them waves. You better sit down now. Don't come down to the South acting like y'all better than the Southern people. It just don't make no sense. That's all I got to say about that. When you come down here, please be humble. Because I'm tired of seeing y'all getting y'all ass dragged down here in the south. I'm telling you, they ain't playing down here. Don't come down here acting like y'all better than folks and think y'all up there and all that. Yeah, now I know people up north can fight and people down south can fight. I'm not promoting violence. I'm trying to tell y'all something to keep violence from happening. Stop going down to the south acting like y'all better than the southern people. And then you gonna run around a counter or something, act like you go chastise the black man or the black woman and you're gonna get your ass toe up now that's all i got to say honey you go look look, look here y'all people y'all get to these southern states and act nice here don't be going down there acting no damn fool because you're gonna find yourself drug all around these interstates up and down these uh sandbox and all down up in them seas because they gonna walk you that's all i got to say about that Gain knowledge to prevent blockage. We all know what that means. The more you know, the harder it is for anybody to block y'all from y'all goals and success. Bye-bye.